here. Okay, and that's it. See, when you've done it over a number of years, you kind of just, it becomes a second nature. But it's always a fun time of year. This is one of my happy times of year. No stress, and they grow into a beautiful plant, and then we're proud of ourselves when we see them all grown up. Right, Melissa? Yeah. Okay. She was really my mentor when I came because she worked for so many years at the Hungerford School. Mm -hmm. So she had so much experience and shared it very, very nicely with everyone. And I think we all benefited from just being with Nancy because she's one of the kindest, most generous people that I know. I'd like to thank Nancy for coming to the greenhouse today because he's moved to the Connecticut. Because every time I do a good job, I can say, all right, Craig, you're good to go. <laughs> say what happens. I'm going to miss it. All right, guys. Listen up. All right. Listen, who's there? Why is that man coming down the driveway? Who's going to say this? Who's going to say this? Hey, Michael, so we quick, get the up. <laughs> so what have you learned most from Nancy? How to, how to plant, how to do the pots. And clean the pots for her, but she needs to clean every pot. She likes to pot with dirt. Uh, well, Nancy is um, very... Uh, she likes everything done a certain way, and um, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Mm -hmm. I learned that, and how every plant should be in the center of the pot, even if it takes us 700 tries to get it in the center, we will eventually do that. Um, and she's very patient. She'll keep going until it's in the center. How do you manage such perfection? Like, I've been doing it a long time, and when you do it a long time, it becomes a second nature. But these guys are doing very well. They do it almost, they are, if not even as good as I do, but they do a great job, these plants. And she's right, because the plants grow very straight and we have a great sale at the end of the season, so she is right. So what have you learned about her? Well, I learned that kindness goes a long way. I'm, I'm more of a pepper guy, and she's more of a sugar girl. <laughs> yeah, I got that too when I worked here. She's like a... Um, Grandmother to me, yeah, grandmother. What do you think, grandmother? Cause she's old. Well, you know she's old, right? She's a grandma. She's a grandma to me too. She should be my mother. Our grandmother should when she died. Ah, oh, and I did pretty well. Sometimes get ups and downs, and she corrects me, and she's like grandma to me. Nobody else. Well, there's, a, there's a there's a montage of things that she taught us. So she taught us. We learned how to plug. We learned how to keep a certain amount of soil in the pot. Okay, I'll use a shower of her in a pot. But not full enough. What will you miss about her? Everything. She is like the heart of the greenhouse. She smiles every day. She makes you laugh every day. She gets everyone involved and everything is fun. Any job could be fun. Sweeping, she makes it fun. You know, and the games and the games she comes up with and the prizes. And Nancy can make a job out of absolutely nothing. She keeps everyone engaged and happy and for the most part, laughing which is a great way to accomplish a job if you have humor and everyone sees it as not so much work but enjoyable time you can you can accomplish anything and nancy is a master of that what do you guys usually talk about flower mason we had to do the centerpieces we did uh at you know when you go to deliver the flowers to restaurants but um she has a definite creative creative flair that to make things look so much prettier like especially for the sales I do sell a lot because of that and she's got a great memory she knows what people want like one lady at one sale talked about birds every year since then we bring her some kind of bird themed planter and uh, people appreciate that and it makes them feel good as much as much as it stings to see her leave I know you'll be able to sit back and just think about how cool it was, how, how much fun we had, and how proud we should be to be what we were able to accomplish. You're going, you're going to miss her um, a lot. We're, we're all going to miss Nancy. Good luck to you and your grandchildren, and have a good time spending time with them in Connecticut. I will certainly miss her. So, we'll all miss her. Uh, yeah. <laughs>